First off, I'd just like to say don't let this new terminology or the, the new way it's written scare you. Uh, if it seems too good to be true, too simple, it really is that simple. The only difference is, I'll go ahead and write a, a sidebar out here. We're looking at y equals f of x. Everything else is essentially the same. The only difference is, is that whereas before we'd have, let's say, we want to evaluate it at x equals 2, we'd have x equals 2, and then we'd plug 2 into whatever our equation is. The difference is now we have f of 2. Uh, the only other distinction is that because we're given f of x, we know that it's a function. It's not just a relation, and that's why we use function notation, uh, is to represent that, hey, this is a function. For every input, there's only one output. Other than that, this is just more of the same of what we've done in the past when we have y equals some expression of x, and we evaluate it at a specific x value. Uh, the difference is only the notation, but it really is more of just the same of everything we've done in the past. Now, all of that said, for this problem, we're given the function f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, and we're asked to evaluate the function at different values of x. So for this first one, I'll show you what I mean by it's, it's more of the same. Uh, we have f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. We're asked to find f of 3. This is the same thing as being given y equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 and being asked to evaluate it at x equals 3. It's the same exact process. So f of 3 means evaluate the function, the expression of x that we're given, at x equals 3. So f of 3 equals 3. I'll go ahead and use blue for our substitution to, to differentiate. 3 times 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 1. And then we simply, we just simplify. This equals 3 times 3 squared is 9, minus 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, which equals 27, minus 6, plus 1, which equals 19, plus 1, which equals 20. So f of 3 is 20. Part B, we're asked to evaluate at f of negative 1, so we'll go ahead and we'll write it all out this time. f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. So f of negative 1 equals 3 times negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 plus 1. And then we simplify. Negative 1 squared is 1, so this is 3 times 1 minus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, which ends up being positive 2. I'll go ahead and write that out in a different way. Let's say this is plus negative 2 times negative 1. That's plus negative 2 times negative 1 is 2 plus 1, which equals 3 plus 2 plus 1, which equals 5, plus 1, which equals 6. So f of negative 1 equals 6. f of 3 equals 20. f of negative 1 equals 6. And part c, this is the first time we're looking at something that's just a little bit different. Uh, instead of evaluating the function at a specific numerical value, we're given another variable. And it doesn't have to be just a variable. It could be an expression of a variable. Uh, so say we're given f of a plus 2, and we'll look at that eventually. But right now, we're just substituting x with t. So f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. And therefore, f of t we just replace whatever's in the parentheses for x. So f of t equals 3t squared minus 2t plus 1. 